my channel if you're new, I'm Alicia. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my morning skincare routine. I am not naked. I have one this like wrappy towel thing, but realistically, when I do my morning skincare routine, I usually hop right in the shower. Like I'll do my mask, hop in the shower, and then I will end off the rest of my skincare routine out the shower. But I like to just rinse my mask off in the shower, so this is realistic for me. Sorry that the light is fluctuating in my video. It might be fluctuating because the sun is literally right here, if you can see. So it's kind of making my video get dark light, dark light, dark light because it's a cloudy day. So that's annoying, but my morning skincare routine is like super, super simple. So it might not even be that long of a video, but I usually do my most intense. I wouldn't even call it intense because I have a really advanced intense skincare routine, which is coming up as well. But like just my everyday nighttime skincare routine and my everyday morning skincare routine is kind of simple, but the nighttime is when I do the most stuff for my face. My morning is kind of like, I literally just washed my face last night. So I'm just kind of like doing what I'm supposed to do in the morning to take care of my skin. Starting off, I like to use my Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. This is an oil-based cleanser, which I think is very important to have in your skincare routine. To be honest, I think it's more important to use this in my nighttime portion of my skincare more than my morning. Because like I said, I just got into the bed and stuff, so I didn't really do much. But I like to use it because I use oils on my face as moisturizer. So I like to get that oil off and I lay on my pillow my hair is on my pillow so throughout the night my skin has that oil on it and then like bacteria from my pillow bacteria from my hair stuff like that is getting on my face and mixing with that oil while I sleep so I still think it's important to use a pre-cleanse like an oil based cleanser in the morning but it's not as important to me as nighttime like if I did skip this step it would be in the morning when I skip this step but not at night So now I'm going with my cleanser, which will be my second cleanse going into my double cleansing method because I like to double cleanse my skin. Today's video is actually sponsored by this brand. This brand is called Mixed Easy and I've been using their products for about a month now. I really, really, really like their products. The brand is called Mixed Easy and I think because they allow you to pick your own ingredients, which is super exciting because me, I feel like I say this too much, but as an esthetician, products are very, very important and specific skin types and skincare routines are very important and I feel like everybody's skincare routine and skincare product should be specialized for their specific skin type and with this brand they allow you to pick the ingredients and it's super easy to understand I really really love that not only it's very super easy to understand it's super simple they give you a list of ingredients and you know as a person what's wrong with your skin and even if it's not something wrong with your skin if you want a certain type of skincare need like if you want firmness or you want to help with your skin's brightening or you want to help with dark spots they will they allow you to go through with a very simple list of ingredients and pick um, top five ingredients that you feel are best needed for your skin which I thought was super cool I got the gentle cleanser by them they also allow you to pick your skin type as well so they let you pick your if your skin is combination if your skin is dry or if your skin is oily so you literally get to pick basically everything about your skincare product and personalize it for yourself so a gentle cleanser is just something that's easy to use it just gets off the little impurities but it's not harsh on your skin because you I don't really need anything harsh in the morning after I just did my nighttime skincare routine so for the morning time gentle cleansers are most important for me so for my top five ingredients I'm gonna read the list of things that I chose from you off my phone because I don't remember them I chose sea buckthorn extract which helps with anti-pollution which is very important you know some people in California are dealing with really really bad air because of the fires and then we generally just have bad air because of all the stuff we're doing to our planet so anti-pollution will really really help with the way your skin looks because pollution in the air help makes our skin age I also chose linden tree extract which helps with the brightening and I always want to look bright because the brighter you look the more healthy you look to me so I want to look bright and healthy I also chose evening primrose extract which helps with anti-aging and I'm 26 I'll be 27 in a month so anti-aging is very very important to me I'm trying to prevent I also chose calendula extract which helps with calm and sensitive skin and I'm somebody who does have sensitive skin my skin is not terrible like if 
10 was the most sensitive. My skin is probably like a 5. So my skin is not, maybe even a 4 to be honest. My skin is not extremely sensitive, but I'm allergic to cats and I'm also light skinned. So I get a little bit of like color, um, pink and redness on my cheeks sometimes. And I'm also allergic to cats and I have two cats. So when I cuddle with them, I break out all around my face. Like I literally cuddled with my cat this morning and I have like breakouts on my chin. And that's actually what some of this redness is from cuddling with my cat earlier. So sensitive things, things for sensitive skin will help me out. And the fifth ingredient I chose was apple fruit extract, which helps with firmness. And again, anti-aging, I want my skin to look plump, I wanna look good, I wanna look healthy. So those are the things that I chose. This is what it looks like, it looks amazing. It smells amazing, but I chose the scent honey and milk, so I just like that scent. So this cleanser does not suds up, which I actually don't mind. As long as my skin is being cleaned, I don't mind that the cleanser is not sudsing up. Like this, it kinda just looks like I put too much lotion on my face, but it's not giving me like a suds from like soap. But I don't mind that because at my school, we had a, some ultra common cleansers and sensitive skin cleansers, and this is a gentle cleanser. So it's for like more so sensitive skin. And they didn't suds up either. So I know that's just probably, most likely if you get a gentle cleanser, you won't get the foaming action. My next step after cleansing my skin, doing my double cleanse, which was my pre-cleanse and my gentle cleanser, is to go on with a mask. I've been using this mask lately. This mask is by Timi. They actually sent me this mask to try out and I talked about it in my last video. I really, really like this mask. Most times, which I would say 99.9, .9, maybe 98% of the time, I only use this mask in the morning before I do my makeup or just in general in the morning, I just like to use this mask because it gives me this very, very healthy glow, which I really, really like. And I use this about three or four times a week. So I let this mask dry for about 10 minutes and then I get into the shower. So after I hop out the shower, I'm gonna finish my skincare routine with you guys. In my nighttime skincare routine, I use my Only Yours toner. I'm gonna to use that too, but I'm gonna start off with my Witch Hazel. Now I'm gonna go with my Only Yours toner. It is actually a raspberry purifying toner and it is paraben free, it has antioxidant, it's anti-aging, it's holistic, it's biotechnical, sulfate free, earth friendly, and it helps with oily skin. This is for normal, normal to oily skin. I'm combination dry, so I do have oily parts of my face, my T-zone. So this is gonna help with that area and all over it's gonna help with the anti-aging and stuff like that, everything else that it said. So after I tone my skin, I go into my serums. My first serum is gonna be this vitamin C serum. It's from the brand Mixed Easy. The same brand as the cleanser that I use. They sent me these two products to try out. They let me choose both products I want to try. I customized my, my cleanser, but the vitamin C serum comes as is. I use vitamin C serum anyway, so I really wanted to try theirs. Here's the vitamin C serum that I usually use. It's by the brand Province Beauty. I faithfully use vitamin C every day anyway, so I just wanted to try out theirs, and I've only been using theirs for the last month, and my skin has been looking very good, very very bright, helps with anti-aging, helps with hyperpigmentation. This vitamin C serum has been doing everything I needed to do down to my glow, down to helping me with my dark spots and everything like that. I use it on my neck because I have eczema on my neck, so my neck comes off a little bit dark. My next serum that I use is gonna be hyaluronic acid. Wow, I just cut myself really bad. I just cut myself. So I'm gonna be going in with my hyaluronic acid and my band-aid. And hyaluronic acid just helps to plump up the skin. Hyaluronic acid pulls moisture out of the air and it holds up to a thousand times of weight and moisture than its original weight. So it pulls moisture out of the air that helps your skin stay plump and hydrated all day, which I love. And since I've had added hyaluronic acid into my skincare routine, I realized that my dark circles have not been as dark as they usually are. So my next serum is gonna be my last serum and this is my salicylic acid serum, and this helps with hyperpigmentation, premature aging, and acne. The acid, salicylic acid, helps to kill acne bacteria, and I don't really get a lot of acne. You can pretty much see my skin, but I do get bumps around my jawline because I still am a younger woman, so I get hormonal breakouts and stuff like that, and then just breakouts in general for maybe eating bad or something like that. So it helps with that, and I've also been breaking out because of corona, and we've been wearing these masks a lot. So I like to use salicylic acid every day, not only for the hyperpigmentation help, but to get rid of those daily acnes that come about. Because even if we don't get like super huge pimples, sometimes we see that we always have like maybe one or two tiny small bumps that just have come and go, and don't really cause that much of, uh, you know what I'm saying, terribleness looking on your face. But they're still there, so it kind of helps to kill bacteria. 
with those every day. My last step is my moisturizer, and I go on with this moisturizer here. Same moisturizer I use in my nighttime skincare routine. This is the Deep Hydration Face Serum that has tea tree oil and hemp in it. I have, again, combination dry skin, so my skin is mainly dry, so I need something that has a lot of moisture, and any oil that says hemp in it, or any product that says hemp, is extremely moisturizing for me as far as I've seen. Hemp is very, very moisturizing, which I love that, so I like to go in with hemp oils more than anything, and if I'm wearing makeup, I'll just use a, a um, cream based moisturizer and if you want to see the moisturizer that I use just watch one of my makeup videos and whatever product that I have left after doing my skincare routine I apply it to my decollete area because I just want to look good I want to feel good so on and so forth and it's my it's starting my day so most likely I'll have a shirt on that will still show some part of my, top, my, my chest area so I like to just take my oil down to my chest area so that is my full skincare routine guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys can try some of these products don't forget to check out mix easy I love their products I actually stand by these products I love the ingredient factor on what they have going on I love how they work they actually work they're really good I'm gonna have a 15% off coupon code in the description box below I'm going straight to the website and giving you a 15% off code so you guys can try these products out try them out they work for me I've been using them for the last month faithfully and my skin has been looking really really good I know I look real oily right now. So yeah, guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.